What up, Internet? I am the PC Goblin. And in today's video, I'm going to be delitting my i3-8350K. Why? Because I want to. The hottest I've ever seen it get is maybe 70 degrees when I was doing some extreme overclocking with it. I had it at 5.1 gigahertz with like as much voltage as I could pump into it safely. So like 1.400 volts or millivolts, whatever it is. Running the test, I was seeing it pop up to almost 70 degrees, but it just never got that hot. You know, it's a tiny chip. It's only got four cores, but everybody knows just how terrible the interface material is that Intel puts on it. So I want to see just how cool or just how good this processor can really be so let's go ahead and get to it and delete it and before we begin i just want to show you exactly what ida 64 is showing us on temperatures so cpu average was 68.4 and then the cores were anywhere between 62 to 68 degrees so not bad but hopefully after delitting we see a 20 degree difference like i have on all my other cpus so time to get delitting Okay, so I've been running this for about 44 minutes. I think that's about how long it was the last time. And the highest we've seen it get is 60 degrees. Well, 64 degrees on one core and an average of 57.4 on the whole chip. So that's really not bad. That's great. I got about a 10 degree temperature drop just by delitting it. So that's awesome. I'm happy with it. I was hoping for more like I've seen on my 6700K and 7700K. Those were also a lot higher temperatures. So really not bad. That was a much better temperature improvement than I thought I was going to get. I honestly didn't think I was going to see any change, so I'm actually really happy with 10 degrees. Just so you know, I was using the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut Thermal Paste in between the CPU and the water block on the CPU, and that's what I had on there before I took it off, and that's what I used when I put it back on. So it wasn't quite as big of gains as I was hoping, like I said earlier. I was hoping for at least 20 but I didn't think I was gonna get any, so it kinda met in the middle at 10, which is great. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it really wasn't needed at all anyways, because I never really got hotter than 68 or 70 degrees anyways, so it made it a little bit cooler, which is always great, but the reason I did this is for a future project that's coming up, so subscribe to my channel so you can see that, and if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.